Well, reporting live, my humble boys, girls, and of course, gifted animals from the tobacco fields of North Carolina. This is your humble and dearest uncle. Uh, guess where I went today that I have not had ever, uh, to be honest with you. Um, in Georgia, we never had it growing up. And then in Wisconsin, they didn't have this. But I got Jack in the Box. And they have a large menu full of tacos and burgers, etc. I've always been curious about what Jack in the Box had to offer. And so I got some tacos. I actually only ordered one, uh, but she repeated it back as two, and they're only 99 cents. So I was just, you know, gonna roll with it because why not, right? So we're only, re we're only going to review one of them. Pretty reasonable, actually. Let's see, it's a long receipt. It's a very long receipt. I guess half of it's in Spanish for a survey or something similar. How are y'all doing? Well, I'm doing just fine. Thank you for asking. I know you're very concerned. I got two tacos, as I mentioned, but I also got bacon Swiss buttery jack. Apparently it's bacony and buttery. So we're gonna see if it's worth its weight here and $4.79 and then tacos were 99 cents a piece. I think I mentioned that earlier. Came to $6.17. Anyway, well here it is. Comes in a nice little wrapper a la Hardee's, etc. Okay, that bun looks pretty good. Artesian, if you will. Mmm, ew. Looks like it's got some mayo. I think it's like a... I'm gonna be quiet, please. Interrupting the show. Anyway, looks like it comes with some kind of mayo. I believe it's a bacon mayo. So I'm gonna just kind of try it. Uh, some bacon, cheese, and uh, a burger. So let's give it a shot. They didn't put too much mayo on there, that's fine. I mean, it's not very, it's kind of bacony, but um, you know, it's nothing too, too bad. I don't remember having any napkins in here. So I think these are from earlier that I just had, I don't know. My production crew finally provided napkins. Who would have thought? Well, let me tell you something about this burger. Uh, I'm impressed. That's a good quality hamburger. I mean, just the beef alone has a lot of flavor. The bun is just the right amount of butter. I mean, uh, old favorite of mine back in on Wisconsin was Culver's and they butter their buns kind of and and uh, I quite enjoy that makes it a little bit more you know the Swiss cheese is you know kind of plain Jane bacon's actually quite good the mayo I don't mind I mean I'm still not the biggest fan of it but uh, it does have a hint of bacon flavor the thing I'm most impressed with honestly is a patty it's a decent size I'm not sure if that's a quarter pound you know patty or or if it's a little bit bigger, but it, it's quite tasty. All right. They have breakfast, wrap, tacos, chicken sandwiches, a bit of everything. The jack of all trades, if you will. Ha, 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 ha. All right, let's get serious. Here's this taco. Kind of got soggy. Looks like they put a sauce on there of some sort. And lettuce, sauce, and meat. Oh, and cheese, of course. Anyway, 99 cents, let's try it out.
and it's your standard taco. There's not a lot of meat in here. It's mainly lettuce. Like that's the meat right down there. Just not even half an inch. The rest is just lettuce. And then that salsa, well, it's not bad, but it's nothing impressive. 99 cents though, I'll take that any day of the week. Um, probably prefer Taco Bell tacos than these, but uh, they'll do. Most importantly though, the substantial part of the meal, the burger, was quite enjoyable. Hmm. Well, for the time being, uh, gonna be a lot of Carl classic car reviews. Some casual, some not. Still trying to get all settled in and get my new studio up and running. Uh, the union workers don't like, you know, the anti-union stance historically the southeastern part of the United States has had. So we're just trying to work through it all and, you know, you know negotiating, obviously. So we should just grate this right now and then, you know, we'll continue doing our road coverage. And with Jack in the Box, I would say that I would definitely go here again. The burger was pretty good. Uh, everything that I look for in the burger, and the most important part, obviously, is the meat. And it's very, very tasty. So we're going to go ahead and give that burger at $4.79. Dang impressive. We'll give it easily a solid 8.1596. Yep, that's what it's going to get. Now the taco, on the other hand, leaves a lot to be desired. Uh, however, it was only 99 cents. So we're going to rate that you know, just a, a 5.045. Anyway, God bless. I hope all is well uh, to you and yours truly. Anyway, y'all take care. So God bless. Hope to see you again. And, uh, yeah, tobacco fields are going well so far. Till next time.